the international program, I would like to welcome Shay Kubler, the artistic director of the Radical System Art based in Canada. Hi, Shay. Hello, hello. I would like to ask you about your background. I saw also from videos uh, following your uh, past that you are coming from different disciplines of background of system of moving. Could you tell me first, what is it? What are you a fan of? Uh, let's start from that. I started doing martial arts when I was about four and a half years old. I was uh, my sensei's youngest student. Uh, he wasn't sure that, that children that young should be able to, to go into martial arts. But so I started with a traditional Japanese karate when I was about four and a half. Um, and then I also got into theater, uh, dramatic arts at the same time, around five years old. So those two art forms kind of created the, the foundation for me as an artist. Um, and then I moved into dancing when I was around 12, 13 and got into hip hop and street dancing first and then moved into tap and ballet and jazz and all the dance forms, all the studio dance forms. Um, so my background is, is really first martial arts, theater and then dance. Um, and so I've continued to kind of develop that as I've, I've gotten older. I've studied capoeira in Brazil. Um, I studied some grappling like judo and aikido in uh, Japan. And then I went to China and studied uh, Shaolin Gong Fu. Um, so I've tried to supplement my dance and my movement training with martial arts as well as, as theater. Do you look for these sort of dancers that have this multidisciplinary uh, systems way of moving? What is your tendency when you watch a dancer and you say, I would like to work with him? Mm, yeah, it's, it's interesting. I, I, I think one of the things that I look for is um, there's like a very raw physical athleticism that I look for in a dancer first. Like a, the company name Radical System is, is based on this idea of kind of like the raw, very human, very um, gritty, natural movement. And then system is very much technical, deliberate, very right. formed movement. So... I kind of try to find the, the balance of the two, but a lot of the dancers that I have worked with have, have trained in different dance styles, have trained in different techniques. And I think that that's definitely important because the choreography that we make does have different uh, instigations, I would say, for movement. Some come from a little bit more martial, some come from a bit more urban dance, street dance style background. Um, so there's a versatility there, but there's also this, uh, this balance of really raw, athletic, ability and then also the technical and the, the multidisciplinary and while watching also you know your body and uh, i must say it's very uh, wow like this with a lot of muscles etc and the, what, what is your uh, look how do you look towards the body of a dancer today um because it was so extreme to watch it and you know sometimes we look for different aesthetics sometimes we like those aesthetics could you a bit speak of it? Please? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, for sure, if, if you're referencing the solo, I know I'm wearing a Speedo. Uh, <laughs> that solo was specifically about, um, was about health, fitness, and, and uh, bodybuilding culture. Kind of using that, 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 that social lens, so health, fitness, and bodybuilding as a, as a lens for addiction, obsession. So I took that very seriously. I took it on as like an actor. So I dieted for like eight weeks and I worked out very heavily and uh, yeah, it was intense. But I think, you know, it just as a physical view, I, I look at it kind of like a martial artist and Bruce Lee was a big influence for me. Um, and he, he kind of articulated that if you're using your body as your instrument, right, you have to tune the instrument. You have to, you have to, you know, constantly check in with it and practice. And the tuning to me is also making sure that your body's strong, but balanced. It's fluid, but it's, it's has strength, it has resistance. And so for me, I've always tried to find a balance where my body is, um, has more resistance, but at the same time, I can increase its fluidity. I'm trying my best to do that. You know, I've had injuries, uh, you know, from performing for, for many years, and I had to start balancing out my muscles and my, just finding a greater balance in my body because dance is so, it has such an amazing capacity in one form. And then it's just trying to find those things that balance out the other side. So it's kind of, I'm always looking for balance. I think that's the biggest thing. You know, you don't want to be too strong, but you can't be too fluid. You don't want to be too resistant, but you can't be too loose. Uh, it's a challenge, but that's the beautiful challenge with, especially with movement arts is that it is constantly reaching to both sides, I think. So thank you very much, Shay, and I hope to see you again.
Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.